Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video, Alex here. Now today I wanna go over some Samsung keyboard tips and tricks that you maybe haven't heard about. Now before we get into the video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my channel partner, Mint Mobile. If you're looking to save some money on your phone plans, you should definitely check out Mint. They have plans for as low as $15 a month for four gigabytes, $20 a month for 10 gigabytes, 25 for 15 gigabytes, or $30 a month for their unlimited plan. They also offer unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and mobile hotspot included in all of their plans. And it's really easy to switch over. Just pick a plan and Mint will do the rest. They'll provide you with an eSIM to get you started right away. Or if you require a physical SIM, they'll send one over to you free of charge. And as a thank you to you guys for supporting my channel, I'm also doing a giveaway to the first 100 people who sign up using my link. I'll buy you guys a phone case of your choice. This is not from Mint. It is from me just as a way to give back to you guys for supporting the channel. So if you do end up signing up using my link, just shoot me a quick email and we'll go from there. All right guys, now let's go over the very first keyboard trick on your Samsung keyboard. And that is that you can actually type by swiping along your keyboard. So instead of typing like you normally would, what you can do instead is swipe on the keyboard. And it actually does a really good job of identifying what it is that you're trying to type. Now to enable this, all you need to do is go to the settings gear icon in your keyboard, scroll down until you see swipe, touch, and feedback. Go to keyboard swipe controls and enable swipe to type. This is disabled by default, but once you enable it, you can now swipe on your keyboard to type your messages. All right guys, the next Samsung keyboard trick is to create text shortcuts. So if you're ever typing out your address or your email address or your phone number, instead of having to type out the whole thing, you can use a keyboard shortcut. For So for me, I have a keyboard shortcut that if I hit the at sign twice, you can see it populates with my email address and I can hit space and it will replace that with my whole entire email address. Then I have another one. If I hit the and sign twice, it will populate with my whole entire address and I don't have to write this out every single time. Now to set them up, all you need to do is hit on this gear icon icon here, tap on text shortcuts, and you can see these are the ones I created. But if you want to create your own, just hit on this plus icon up here and then create a shortcut and then the expanded phrase. So the shortcut could be like your address. So let's do ADDR and then put in here your actual address. And then once you're done, hit add, go back to your keyboard, type your shortcut and then hit space or tap on the suggestion and it will populate with your address. Definitely a really convenient feature everybody should enable on their Samsung keyboards. The next cool Samsung keyboard trick is the ability to extract text. So if we hit on these three dots right here, it will open up this menu and you can see we have an option here to extract text and this will launch our camera. And now what we can do is, let's say we're reading a book or a really long passage and we want to share something with a friend. Well, instead of having to write it all out ourselves, what we can do is just point our camera at it and you can see our camera recognizes the text and, and populates it into our uh, message box right there. And now what we can do is just easily share this with anybody we want. We have the whole entire passage in here and we didn't need to write it all out ourselves. Now what you can also do is let's say you're writing a really long text message. Let's just say that this was something that I wrote myself and now I want to go back and maybe get rid of something or fix something or just change anything. Instead of having to tap around and try to get the perfect placement, what you can do is use your space bar as a trackpad. So if you tap and hold on it, you can see that we can now move that cursor very precisely to wherever that it is that we want to put it and then make any edits or delete or add anything that we want. So definitely a really cool feature. And you can do other things with this trackpad. So let's say out of this really long text message, maybe there's something we want to delete or maybe we want to just select a certain portion of this entire message. We can tap on this cursor again and then hold with our finger. And now what we can do is select a whole bunch uh, of text. So we can take only what we want and then when we let go, we can cut it, we can copy it, or we can delete it. So if we just tap on this, you can see it deletes that whole entire message. So it's a really nice way to select just a portion of your whole entire passage. Definitely a really useful little feature that we have with our uh, space bar right here. Next, what you can do is resize your keyboard. So if you hit on these three dots here, go over one, you'll see this option here that says keyboard size. Now, if this keyboard is maybe too small for you, what you can do is drag this up to make it bigger, or maybe you like to use your phone one-handed, you can drag this side over and it will squish the keyboard and condense it so that this way it's easier if you're typing one-handed to reach over to this side of the keyboard using your thumb. Another cool thing that the Samsung keyboard can do is translate 
text. So what we can do is hit on these three dots, tap on translate, and now you can see we get this box here and we can translate anything from English to any other language. And what's crazy is if you go into here, you can see just how much support there is for all of these different languages. So let's say we want to, you know, translate something from English to Italian, just select Italian and then start typing. And then just tap on this translate button right here. You can see it translates the text for you and puts it into your text box. And now you can send this message off. And you can see the other person obviously gets it in Italian. Now that's pretty cool, but there's an even more powerful feature on the Samsung keyboard that will allow you to voice transcribe. So if you hit on this microphone button, what you can do is talk and your phone will just populate everything that you say into text. So if I tap on this, I can say, hey, welcome to my channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoy my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And you can see that it's writing everything in here and it's doing a really great job. But here's the crazy part. You can go down here and tap on this button and change the language to a different language so you can see I've set this to Russian and now when I start uh, you know if I start this back up and I start talking Russian Привет, как дела? У меня все хорошо. Увидимся скоро. You can see that it wrote everything out in Russian and it does a really good job of writing exactly what I'm saying. And I use this very often to talk to my grandparents because they don't speak English very well and I don't write Russian very well. So the, having the ability to be able to speak to my phone and have it write everything out in Russian for me is absolutely amazing. This has been an absolute life changer. And again, this works with so many other languages. All you need to do to set it up is go to your settings on your keyboard. At the top, go to languages and types. And then in here, just go to uh, manage input languages. And from this entire list, just select whatever language that you want and download it to your phone. And now you can start using your keyboard in that other language. I can't tell you guys how helpful this has been for me just to be able to talk to my phone and it will write everything that I'm saying in this other language. Definitely a really, really awesome feature that's built right into your Samsung keyboard. All right, guys, the next awesome built-in Samsung feature is the ability to search things. So let's say we hit on these three dots. You can see we have a search button here. If we tap on this, you see it says searches for emojis, stickers, and more. And the more part is what's really cool because let's say we type something like car in here, then we hit search. You see we have emojis, but we also have Spotify playlists. So we wrote car and you know, Carrie Underwood showed up or this careless whisper song. And then if we keep going, we have stickers for cars. If we keep going, we got GIFs. We can select any GIFs. Then there's also these YouTube searches. Then we have Netflix shows. So we have Corey Carson, right? So a, a cartoon about cars. We have contacts, anyone who matches that, we have a contacts. Anything in our gallery that has the word car or a picture of a car will show up here. It's insane. You can search so many things from here that have the word car. And let's say we want to select this Netflix show, what it will do is paste the link directly to that Netflix show directly into your messages. And then if you send it, the other person can just tap on that and it will take you to Netflix to Corey Carson. How crazy is that? This is such a powerful feature. So there's definitely a lot of really cool things that are built directly into the Samsung keyboard that make it really powerful, but you can take things even further with an application like Keys Cafe. So if you go to your Galaxy store and install this, when you open it, you can have so much more control over over the look and feel of your keyboard. And once you open it up, what you can do is go to style your own keyboard and enable this. Once you have this enabled, you can see you get all these different options to select the background color and style of your keyboard. You can definitely make things a lot more flashy. You can even go to effects and set an effect that you will see for every time you hit on a key. That's just crazy. We can even go to sounds and select a different sound that you'll hear when you tap on a key. So we can go for something like retro touch sound. Now, when we go back to our keyboard, if we hit any of these keys, you can see that we get that really cool background effect. There's just so much customization that you can make with this application. So I definitely suggest you guys uh, install this if you want to change the look and feel of your Samsung keyboard. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video of all the cool things you can do with the Samsung keyboard. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.